15-year-old Abida Alabi, an SS2 student of Jaconde Estate Comprehensive Senior College at Besson Paja, with some of her schoolmates, have developed an electronic trash bot. Using easily accessible materials, they creatively make one as part of their efforts to make an impact on their immediate surroundings. We realize this is a school environment. Looking around, you see different dead materials. So we decided to create something that is to be attractive. You know, most people, they see it as being there. Like, that mindset of just going there and dropping it is stressful to them. But when they know the thing will just open, then they throw it in, then they'll be excited to use it. The e-trash bot is a device that aids the proper disposal of refuse, reducing the cost and frequency of waste collection. When we want to make the, um, the trash bots, the original does been, the original does been um, the cover. It's too heavy for the lift to bring it off. So we decided to get something lighter, like a, like waste from a printer's from a printer's workshop. So we used the waste since it was lighter. Then we cut it into the preferred shape that we wanted. Then we put the sticker all over it. Then we realized it was going to work. Then for the the lift, the rope that was supposed to lift it up, not just any rope can lift it up. But then we realized why not use something that's thin and at the same time strong. So we decided to get the trine from shoemakers to lift it up, so uh, that worked too. Apart from creating the e-trash bots to aid the disposal of refuse and also change the mindset of people in our community, Abida and her team have also developed a smart walker for the visually impaired and a maternal care website. I decided to just create something that would like enable the people to be independent on their own. It comes with, um, with a light. That's when they other people around the blind person know that someone is coming. And also the buzzer that will alert the person of the obstacle in front. Mm -hmm. We are working on the maternal care web app. It's um, a website which enables pregnant women and expecting mothers to have access to certified and quality hospitals and medical health care. Then on the app, we also have the postpartum services because some people, even after safe delivery, their children still die or they themselves die. So the postpartum service will enable, will enable us keeping track with the pregnant woman within zero to six weeks after the childbirth to ensure that the mother and the baby are both safe. Abida, who would love to become a computer programmer, a writer and a motivational speaker in future intends to pass whatever knowledge she acquires this period to her peers.